Hello and welcome to the Community Hospital Training Channel. I'm going to demonstrate today the uh, initial setup for the Hospira Plum family of pumps. Uh, the first one we're going to look at today is the Plum XL. And there's a new procedure that's been instituted by the FDA that uh, necessitates checking our alarms before each initial use. So, what we'll do now from now on is zoom in here a little bit and we'll show you. When you first turn it on, we'll turn the unit to set rate, then verify on the back of the unit that the audible alarm switch is in the low position. We listen for the alarm, and when we hear it, we switch to the high position. If we hear that alarm, then the unit is ready for use. We'll turn it off. Spike the bag. And we will take the cassette here. On the back of the cassette, there's a small white knob. This allows free flow to the unit. And we will be turning the cassette upside down, pulling the knob out until this chamber here fills. Then we'll push the knob in, turn the cassette upright, place it into the unit, close the door, turn the unit on and begin to set our rate, our volume to be infused, etc. Now, the other pump that I'm going to be showing you today is the Hospira Plum A Plus pump. It's a very similar procedure to the XL but slightly different. What we'll do is when we first open our tubing set with this unit, we will take the dry cassette that has not been used yet, place it into the unit, turn the unit on, and we will listen for the alarm telling us cassette failure. Okay. We can hear the audible alarm, so we turn the unit off, open the door, spike the bag, and again we will take our cassette, turn it upside down, pull out the white knob until this chamber fills up, close the knob, place it into the pump, turn the pump on, and program it. So from now on, this procedure needs to be performed at the beginning of each, each use of these pumps to comply with FDA regulations. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please call Biomed at 405-593-0592. Have a great day.